What's something you find weird that is 100% normal? As a deaf guy, looking at people kissing musical instruments is quite bizarre. Edit 3. I got quite a few questions about my deafness and how I hear my thinking voice. I will try to answer as many as I can. I can hear some which includes music, which means I can hear and feel bass if it's loud enough. I can definitely feel vibrations. As for my thinking voice, ironically it's in music and some lyrics. I really don't like music that much which makes it even more interesting. To those ignorant people who hadn't met a deaf guy online or in real life, you're in for a massive cultural shock. Yes, I can read and write English. Yes, I can type on my phone. Deafness means just that, I can't hear. It does not mean it prevents me from everything I hold dear. And to the trolls who commented that I was faking deafness, come meet me in real life and see for yourself. You're in for even worse shock than those who are ignorant. Edit 4. Don't apologize that I'm deaf. You're focusing on my ears instead of me if you apologize in that way. Edit 5. This is the last edit I swear. There's a lot of people asking if I can feel vibrations. Yes, I can feel them. This is the second time I said this. I wonder what seeing a harmonica player must looked like for the first time XD. Dude was about to send one hell of an envelope. I spent like 3 minutes trying to think why people were kissing their guitars. <laughs> Clapping. Animals must think we are mental. Apart from seals. Seals know. You're literally h-i-t-t-i-n-g yourself r e p e a t e d l y to show appreciation for others. What's weird is I think it's something innate. Babies clap all the time when they are happy. Sometimes when I get really excited I instinctively clap. So like where did that tray come from? I wonder if other primates do it. Maybe it's like dogs wagging their tail. They do, in fact. They've even found that chimps will clap and sway when music is played for them. Crying. Why does my body create liquid from my eyes if something is sad? The chemical everyone is talking about is cortisol, the stress hormone, and crying actually lowers your cortisol levels. That's why you feel better after crying. You're supposed to feel better after crying? Bro I get a headache and need a nap. Your brain misses its usual high level of cortisol lol. What even is sad? Oh, things happened and it affects my brain and makes me feel terrible wtf. Birds having a built in GPS system. They can fly south for the winter, then fly back to the exact same tree up north. I once saw in a video that they may just know how to feel the magnetic field of the earth, so my guess is that when winter comes, they just follow a path the south and can exactly retrace their flight back to north once it warms up again. Researchers discovered that the light-sensitive protein cryptochrome 4, found in birds' retinas, is sensitive to magnetic fields and could well be the long-sought magnetic sensor of the migratory birds. The fact that all those other people you see out in public all have their own lives, that they go home to completely separate from yours. Edit, I have been informed many times that the word for this is sonder. I've been thinking about this a lot having recently lost my dad. Such a big thing to me, but all these people are going about their lives as though it didn't happen. Because they too have loss and love and lives that are just as good and hard and rewarding and difficult as my life. And we all know almost nothing about each other. Billions of universes mingling together but never interacting in a way which we can perceive and yet, all of these worlds are connected by countless imperceptible threads. Edit, as the post above me says, I also thank all of you, kind friends. We all carry our joys and our struggles in this beautiful world, so be loving to others, and to yourselves, and always strive to become love, in this Christmas season and beyond, know that you matter. I totally get this, lost my dad quite brutally start of this year, cancer, you can't believe the world doesn't stop for you, for your pain, that everyone isn't as heartbroken as you makes you sort of angry, when people would talk about their day, all of I would get this drop in my stomach, because I was in pain, so much of it, why can't they understand that? Or magically be aware, it's a strange one, and it happens each time you lose someone close to you. Each life is just as intricate, as fragile and expansive as your own. Edit, Grandma. Reading, like, there are these random squiggles and we can instantly interpret them into complex thoughts, concepts, feelings, emotions, from people we've never met, or sometimes even heard of before. It's weird. I sometimes think about how crazy construction of a language to tell a story must have been back in the day and how powerful at all language is. What an astonishing thing a book is. It's a flat object made from a tree with flexible parts on which are imprinted lots of funny dark squiggles. But one glance at it and you're inside the mind of another person, maybe somebody dead for thousands of years. 
across the millennia, an author is speaking clearly and silently inside your head, directly to you. Writing is perhaps the greatest of human inventions, binding together people who never knew each other, citizens of distant epochs. Books break the shackles of time. A book is proof that humans are capable of working magic. Carl Sagan. Having pets. I have two dogs that I love to death. But when I really think about it, I realize they are just two random animals that I saw one day and said yeah I like that one and put them in my home against their will and I give them food regularly and smother them with more affection than I give to other people. And those two random animals seem to think that's totally dope and show signs of liking me back. Oh yeah, I always get stuck on this, ESP if I'm stoned. I just stare at the cat and dog and I'm like, what do you think is going on here? What do you think I'm saying? Do you wonder where your kin are? What do you think I am? Friend, it's pseudo mother, some random beast. It's so wild we learn to communicate effectively with them and have mutually beneficial relationships with them. I've never gotten over it. I'm just imagining your cat and dog staring back at you like oh duck she's high again lol. My tongue is a meat tentacle. Thanks, I hate it. The entire concept of laughter. Why does our face contort and our die from spasm when certain things happen? And how do our brains decide what things are funny and what things aren't? I once saw a documentary that studied laughter in apes. They said that it was a reaction for when someone makes a mistake, but it doesn't matter slash isn't anything serious. Kinda makes sense to me. We scream to alert others of danger or that we need help, so laughter is a way of following it up with false alarm. How many times have you laughed to yourself after being startled over something trivial? It's basically that. An unexpected outcome also makes us laugh. That's why jokes work. I believe it's an evolutionary bonding tray. Some mold is edible. No matter how stinky it is. Blue cheese. Edit. I know it has mold in it. That's why I made the ducking comment you fart sniffing lemurs. When I was 4 my parents would feed me blue cheese for no reason. And I thought it was chicken. When I was 9 I got in a phase where I somehow hated chicken breast, so one day my mom tricked me into eating dinner by telling me we are eating lizard tonight and that day I told everyone at my school I was having lizard for dinner. Some kids were envious of the fine dining I was to experience, others tore me down and bullied me with no remorse making me feel like I was some sort of savage, yet I bragged about it. I ate it that night and boy did I loved it. After thinking I can prove everyone wrong the next day by telling them that I ate the lizard, my mom deadest tells me it was ducking chicken breast. It was this moment that I learned that this world is evil, it was pure betrayal. Edit, judging from the replies some parents are still ruthless, the rest of us who be knowing what true treachery is, should go into group therapy together. R slash my mom told me twice lizard. As a dog owner and cat owner I sometimes look at them and think, there is literally an animal living in my house whose ancestors ran free and hunted other animals, and it is just laying upside down all cute on its bed beside me, and also can't eat, unless I give it food. So I guess that. I always look at my cat and think about how stupid I must be. One day I was all like hey, you're cute and furry, so come live in my house, scratch up my mats, vomit on my couch and leave hair absolutely everywhere, while I spend my time and money caring for you. Paparazzi, they do everything just like a stalker, yet they are not incarcerated for it and paid to do the things they do. It makes me cringe whenever I see tabloid and paparazzi photos, especially where the subject of the photo is visibly uncomfortable. It's so intrusive. Even worse when children are stalked by them. Why is it legal? Languages, or just talking in general. The fact that we've given meaning to a bunch of random sounds made by our vocal cords is bizarre when you think about it. Like, how did this even start? How were we able to decide what should be called what? For example, how did we decide that a rock is called a rock, or that the sky is called the sky? The origin of language is an unsolved problem in linguistics that will most likely remain forever unresolved, insofar as no written records are thought to exist of it. It's wondrous to speculate about. The internet, how it works, and also just the whole concept of it. Complete strangers on literally the other side of the planet can interact with me almost instantaneously. Like this. Hi there. Hello world. Gravity. It's working against me. Using sharp metal to scrape hair off of my face. I think in genitalia is even weirder, it's so sensitive. I personally don't use my genitalia to scrape hair off my face, but to each their own I guess. Then whose genitalia do you use to scrape hair off my face? 
Our stomach naturally produces hydrochloric acid. It's corrosive and can burn through your skin and tissues. Uwawata our stomach lining is covered in mucus to prevent us from eating inside out. Have you seen hydrochloric in a science experiment? That chemical reaction is insane. Makes sense as we eat meat, bones and catrilage sometimes. If not our poop is gonna be bony. The stomach lining replaces itself every day with a fresh set of cells. Imagine being born into the world just to find out your only purposes in life. To use your body as a disposable structure unit for holding acid. The fact that almost everybody finds somebody's butt attractive. Damn, look at the bulge of muscle and fat at the top of that person's legs. I find its curvature makes me want to mate. Buddy, have you seen the bulbous fatty orbs surrounding the mammary glands? The fact we piss, shit and receive pleasure within a 2 inch radius. To all the smart asses that say it doesn't apply to them because they're hung, your cum gland still starts in your bollocks. Shit, piss, orgasm, and offspring new life. If you were a lizard, you could do all four things with one hole. Such efficiency. Scrolling on reddit, like wtf you just rubbing the phone screen. Phones must get so aroused with getting massaged all the time and everything. Being alive in this world. Just the fact that everything exists, or does it? I love to get stoned and just stare at shit thinking how tf is this even real. It mostly leads to panic attacks but seriously, wtf is everything? Kissing. I mean, I like it. It's nice. But honestly, who was the first person to say, let's mash my mouth against your mouth and see what happens? Lips are erogenous zones. Now, granted, but why does French kissing feel so good, but if you think about it it's ducking gross. Dancing, like people flail around in weird and awkward ways to sounds. Squeaky tennis shoe noises. Probably half of the words in any given language. Repeat any word a handful of times, and it can start to sound really weird. Then I start questioning why that word is associated with whatever it's associated with. There's usually never a good answer, but it's great enunciation practice for sure. I edit. Thank you fellas and lady fellas for my most upvoted comment on here so far. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. I think the phenomenon is called semantic satiation, when you say a word repeatedly, and it sounds like nonsense after a while. Having kids. You're just gonna make a person. You're just gonna snatch an innocent soul out of the void and force sentience upon it. What the hell. Edit. I'd like to add to this thought. The concept of influence is something that really ducks with my mind. Because of my comment. I have now changed the lives of everyone reading it. And everyone commenting. Not in the sense. That I think I so immensely impacted your way of thinking. That your life is now forever changed. But I took time out of your life. The course of your life has now deviated and can never return to where it would have gone had I not made this comment. So to take it further, making an entirely new being would to me be an insane amount of influence on the world. That would change everything. It freaks me out. Does anyone have a good alternative to determinism? Cause I really can think of one. The fact that a majority of people think in images. Like, think of an apple and see, in the mind, a picture of an apple. So weird to me. I've never seen anything up there. Wait, what? Like, people think in images instead of an inner monologue? I don't see mental images, unless I'm intentionally trying to create one. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting this. Teeth. I don't know why. Your teeth are the only part of your skeleton that you can see. You bleach them. You lose them. You put metal racks on them. So you remold your bones to the shape that society finds visually appealing. There's a fictional woman that breaks into your house to pay you for these bones. It sounds like a straight up sociopath. We get film on them that calcifies and solidifies and makes other bone like material. Like teeth are weird, dude. It's even worse. Your teeth aren't part of your skeleton. Your skeleton forms from the mesoderm during gastrulation. Your nervous system, mucous membranes, teeth, and skin form from the ectoderm. Your teeth are more like hard pointy skin than bones. Your mouth is full of skin rocks. Your mouth is full of skin rocks will now forever live rent free in my head. Thank you kind stranger. As a left hander, watching right hand is right. Yeah, I get it. I'm the odd one out. But still, come on. Fellow left handers, back me up on this. Burn the witch. I'm right handed in everything except writing. My fianky is left handed in literally everything. Brains are weird. Public bathroom stalls in the US. Completely normal yet 100% ducked. The gap. Like why? I don't need to look a stranger in the eyes as I pass a food baby. 
I had someone's toddler crawl under the door into my stall one time. Got all the way under and then stood up and stared at me while I was on the toilet. I yelled out someone's child is in my stall. I had to open my door while I was still shitting to get him out to his mom. Like what the duck. One of the weirdest things to ever happen to me. That's really weird and I'd have a germ meltdown if my kid was crawling on the floor of a public bathroom. Hoo hoo. Pregnancy. The idea of a whole person growing inside of me is just so thing weird. I always thought that and was always vocal about it and everyone kept telling me that when I got pregnant I would understand and those feelings would disappear. Well, I got pregnant, had a healthy pregnancy, I love my son 13 yo, but man. To this day, the idea and now the memories of having a whole person inside my body is so weird. Ham is a traditional Christmas meal. The guy whose birth we are celebrating never ate any kind of pork. He didn't eat this gorgeous mac and cheese either, but you better math celebrate his birthday with a big pile of it. Lots of western Christmas traditions make no sense. He probably wasn't even born on the 25th of December. Most of what we think of as traditions are either pagan or stuff made up by the Victorians. Like Christmas trees what's up with that? As someone from a nation cultural background, how American kids can get financially cut off from their families at 18. Like, they're still a family, and on good terms, but my friends have said stuff like my mom owes me $300, or that they're taking out student loans though their parents are financially able to support them through college. But, their parents' money isn't their money anymore, so they have to take on debt. It's so strange to me, as the expectation in most Asian households are, that parents support you financially when you're young, and then you support them financially when they're old, and there's no clear demarcation of my money your money. I was cut off at 20, told I had a one night limit for staying at their house. I never got into trouble, never did anything out of the ordinary teenage mischief, but I was convinced I was a bad kid because they communicated that to me. I had to take out massive loans for undergrad and graduate school while my parents built a vacation home. I'm now minimum to no contact. My husband and I have a wonderful kid that will always be loved and supported and will always have a room of their own in our home. Duck M. Keeping fish as pets. With other pets you can cuddle, pet, and play with them, but fish just sit there in their tanks and some people use them more as like a living decoration. I just think they are neat. Fish do have quite the personalities and more intelligence than we give them credit for. Some even are intelligent enough to play too. The Goliath grouper is a good example of one. I used to have more fish with live plants in the whole shebang, but the maintenance wasn't helping my crappy spine, so now I have just my better. Contrary to popular belief, betters need a minimum tank size of 5 gallons, a heater, and some clutter in their tank to thrive. They're pretty and I've noticed that my boy only does his wiggle dance when it's me. He just stares with murderous intent at my cowalkers lol. If I put on my hat, he'll flare up, and when I take off my hat, he'll calm down. It's cute. A guy I knew said if I can't pet it, it ain't a pet. He was talking about alligators, but I think it applies. Being tracked my cookies on the internet and privacy being invaded by trackers. Fuzzy blue muppet stares in your window, wherever you go. Houses, welcome to my home, this is where I do my human things. I can't imagine ever taking a group shower in a locker room setting. I always felt this way until I lived in Germany for a few years. At the swimming pools they just don't give a duck about being naked right next to another naked guy. They just do it. It's not like they stand there grinning with their hips thrust forward, pointing at their cocks with both index fingers. I felt self-conscious about it, then I realized I'd be the strange one if I just bypassed the showers and went straight to the changing room. It also helped that there is a broad spectrum of body types, skinny guys, fat guys, buff guys. Halfway through the first shower it just felt normal, which really surprised me. Cheering in a crowd. I just can't bring myself to woohoo. Swinging our arms while walking. I think it's something to do with balance. If the left foot is forward, the left arm is back, so weight is evenly distributed, and therefore walking is more efficient. Try swinging your arms to match your legs as you walk. You will feel like an alien in a human body and suddenly swinging your arms opposite your legs will make sense. You can be overwhelmed or underwhelmed, but never just whelmed. I dunno, I've been pretty whelmed or weak. I think you can in Europe. People looking like their parents. I'm adopted and never knew my real parents so it's weird when I used to meet girlfriends parents and siblings just all looking the same. Freaked me out when GF looked a lot like dad and had same mannerisms. Hard mode when it came to bedtime and dad with tits looking up at me. That's why the pillowcase goes on their heads now. 
I'm adopted but I do know people from my biological family. It's so strange being around them, and knowing I look like them, and that we are blood. Me and my bio sister are really alike even dressing the same, picking out similar glasses, etc and we get along great. Ballance. Like here, have a sack of breath. That fact that most humans freely drink liquids from other mammals. Right, and if you tried as an adult, to drink human milk people would think you were nuts. I think about this a lot. Totally normal to drink milk from cows, but not Linda. Socializing. How the duck do you all do it so casually? I have to properly concentrate and plan everything out just to escape unscathed. Remember this next time. Nobody cares about anyone else more than they care about themselves. While you think others are busy judging you, their main concern is that they look better than you, have nicer clothes etc. This leads to a thing called leveling where they may start saying derogatory things about you, or what you are wearing, or your hair, or pointing out your faults. This is behavior born of low self-esteem and a need to be seen as better than their friends. So basically, you should be confident you are looking great as soon as they start. Babies don't have kneecaps. They also have a hole in their skulls due to their plates not being fixed together yet. There's a limitless, boundless void not that far above our heads we have no control or understanding of, and people don't seem that concerned about it. PPL will be like see that star? It's hundreds of millions of light years away. Maybe it's already dead. Cool. Huh. And then they just go on about their day. I think the Romans and Mayans had it right. Gotta be more careful around the stars, you never know what could happen. Commercialization. Everything is being hit with it. Christmas is on the brink of feeling corporate to me nowadays. Most holidays are to be fair. Heck, living too. Christmas is so commercialized always was. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more curated daily reddit stories.